Hello everyone. We are back. Oh. I have a puppy with me. I just hit the mic by accident. Oh, she's a good girl. Aren't you? You're such a good girl. We'll be back today. We're going to do some more cracking time. Aren't we, boo? We're going to do more cracking time. <laughs> okay. I know you want to go. There you go. Right. So. From what I remember, when we got to weed. Let me just check on something. This is appearing to be very loud all of a sudden. Check, check, check. One, two, one, two, one, two. Hmm. Let me check on the... No good, no bad, but let's, uh... Just lower that ever so slightly. And let's go. Right, so yeah. We've... Met Azimuth, we've got the boots. We need to head over to that place and then we can move on. But we've got a few of these places first. We've done that one, we've done that one. Let's go over to this one. What's this place? There a side mission here, I'm guessing. Oh, there's an armor shop. Ecto flux armor, thermo flux armor, and hyper flux armor. Okay, interesting. That's, that must be the levels. Greetings, outsider. I'm conducting an experiment for the Lunar League of Celestial Oddities. How'd you like to chase a comet in the interest of science? All you need is a fast ship and a tether. Don't have the tether just as of yet. I've got a feeling that might be the next upgrade we're going to get from the next zone we pick up. Seeing as that appears to be what's giving us the um, giving us the upgrades. That one's incomplete apparently. I'm sure, we've been here. What am I missing from here? Yeah, we've definitely been here already. I wonder if there's a gold boot that I'm missing. Okay, let's uh, do this properly. I've got a feeling it's definitely like a gold bolt or something that I'm missing. There we go. In which case, let's have a look. So that's the path we have to go. And that takes us back. Well, what's this? Aha. So if we are... We need to head back to the beginning. Looks like there's a little pathway you can take. That's a bit difficult to see. So we're up at the top, that way, we need to go this way. Nailed it. And that's this place done. As usual, we're keeping the pirate hat. Okay, so there's 40 gold bolts in this game then. That's fine. 
we're not going to be getting them all. Oh, it's taking me back here. Could I make it back home? Could I make it back to the ship? Looks like it. Especially the way the, uh... The, um... Like, physics and the motion works. No, nope, not that one. We are now... Let's just go straight up this way. And we'll get through... Just crash straight through the meteors, that's fine. Go to this place. Let's see what's going on here. Is this an enemies one? It looks like it. Okay, that's fine. Or we might as well level up this gun we have. Because we should be able to get it to level 5 in this place. Let's uh, boost around a bit. See what there is. See if there's anything like sneaky around here. Doesn't look like it. Very, very close to level 5 though, which is good. I want to try and get as many of the weapons to level 5 as I can, because I do like seeing the differences in the weapons. Hey! That's what I'm Sorry, I just completely missed what you were saying there, dude. First comment, so I'm late. Just don't worry about being late, dude. I was already late myself because of my food mishap, so don't worry about it. This isn't like school or anything like that. You can drop in and out whenever you want, as long as you enjoy the content. Did you try the God of War difficulty? And how difficult was it? And yes, you did get first comment. Ooh, Mega Constructor Pistol. Okay, so what's the difference? Doesn't look like there's any difference. Guessing it's just damage. Tried the Valkyries? Oh, yeah. Um, the Valkyries are an amazing bit of game design uh, and the way they're done because each one of them teaches you to do a very specific thing in the way of beating them. Like, there's one where the whole idea of beating them is to get perfect parries. Um, then there was another one where it was like... Oh, there is a gold coin somewhere on here. Oh, no, there's a Constructor mod somewhere. Yeah, so they um, got to the seventh one. Okay, yeah. So I got all of the basic ones done... But I, I never beat the queen, and she's the one where basically everything you've done with all the others, she does all of it, and that was the difficulty for me. <laughs> it's like, I couldn't keep up with all the different techniques that you had to do. Oh, Constructor Mob, what we got? Okay, so we've got Contact and Timed. Mm, we're going to keep Contact. So we should be done here. Which we are, so let's turn around. Go to this one. Oh yes, in Nephilim. Um, Nephilim or something. That one's... Um, that one you have to pretty much just go balls to the wall. Like... I realized when I was doing that one, it was all about pretty much just don't stop. Don't stop trying to do the combat. You've got to keep it going. It took me about three or four tries to do that one. I think the one I struggled with the most, like the standard Valkyries, was the one that was in um, Muspelheim. The, um, the like... The, the like volcanic area that one was one of the more difficult ones for me of the standard types
I see in this one they fixed the weird um, movement. So like when I jump, I actually stop moving along with it. Try once and I'm like, nope. Yeah, so the basically Muspelheim, from what I remember, is there's loads of different trials, and then the last trial is the last Valkyrie. Or oh, one of the Valkyries, sorry. Eventually, I would like to go back and try and um, try and beat the Valkyries again. Like if I think if I do a if I do a stream playthrough, I will aim to beat all the Valkyries because that's something that I've always kind of like got annoyed that I never did. And I'll just have to really take my time and understand the game as much as I can. But how's your how's your day been, man? You been good? Happy with the 57% trophy. <laughs> I don't even know how many I've got. I think I've got like quite a few for like getting extra content and the side content stuff, but I know I'm not near platinum. Eventually, I will do the Valkyries. Like I said, most likely it'll be on a stream. Oh god, there's so much fire here. Pretty average. <laughs> I was literally, I'm not kidding you. I was, I was sat there because obviously I took Becky to get, um, to do her checkup thing. And I'm sat in the car. I had my laptop on the center console hooked up to my phone's hotspot. And because I'm off work, when we're, when we're working from home anyway, we all go into like a, um, a conference call, me and my, my like pod, my team. So I joined that while in the car, off my hotspot on my phone, while playing Final Fantasy X-2 on my Switch. <laughs> we should get an upgrade now. Still didn't get a PlayStation though. I know John Lewis dropped them all at 5am, but I wasn't going to be awake for that. What's the upgrade? Oh, sweet, it's Heather. So, we need to actually head back. Yeah, folks, Mac McElroy here with another reminder that there is another comedy show tonight at the Moonlight Lounge. So if you missed my earlier advertisement, and by the looks of my audience, hey, I'm actually identified our Tonight's encore performance. That's Mac McElroy, quality comedy for the entire galaxy. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. Cause I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a big fan of Big Bang at all. It's like, if it's on, then whatever. I'll. I'll. It, if I like go around someone's house and they're watching it, then fair enough. They, I'll watch it. But it's never been something that I've really put on to watch myself. It wouldn't surprise me if it was on at least one streaming service out there somewhere. If you find the episode like on YouTube or something, put the link in and I'll uh I'll watch it on the uh I'll just watch it on stream. Just so you can remind so I can see. Okay, so we've got a zony one way, which is fine. But what's the other path for? Oh, that must be the uh the finale of the path. That's fine. Hover boots! Whoa. Right, so we got that way. What's this way? Okay, so that way takes me 
back. That looks like a gold orb. So let's go, not gold orb, gold, um, gold bolt. So let's do that one first. Ah, one of the easier ones to find. Okay, let's have a look. Let's see this. Just while well, that's going, let's go to this. Okay, just so make sure we are. Let me just mute the game for just a second. Where is it? Where's my VBS? Uh, mute that so just so we're given the correct this is from random musings on YouTube uh, this obviously isn't something I've posted so if you guys want to give any props it's to random musings oh, it's Comic Con with PS5 <laughs> what's going on hey we're about to buy tickets for Comic Con <laughs> <laughs> Seconds. They <laughs> incredibly fast, but as long as one of us gets Good it, Lord, this is not the time for flirting, keep it in your pants. <laughs> A whole lot of weird before coffee. <laughs> T minus 30 seconds. Oh, I have to go to the bathroom so bad. Every year I told you wear a diaper. And I told you I get diaper rash. 15 seconds. Oh, this is it. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. That that is literally me when I'm looking at like all the shops for a PlayStation Five. Anyone in? No. Do not stop. That that is literally me when I'm looking for a PlayStation Five. That's a hundred percent me. <laughs> right, where is voice meter? Let's unmute this. That's actually like scary as to how close it is to what it's like at the moment <laughs> I get I get your point though like it is very very close to how pretty much everyone's being with the PlayStation 5s at the moment oh rip first one of the day right, let's try this again we've got the gold bolt at least so Uh. Ah, no, I fell. Let's uh, land on this ledge here. Nice and gently. And we will try that again. Gotcha. I wonder if you don't have to do it on God of War difficulty then. Because I, I would not call that game an easy game to plat um, if you have to do God of War difficulty. if it's just collectibles, then yeah, I can see it not... There's no trophy for difficulty. Okay, yeah, so you, that's not actually that bad of a... That doesn't seem that bad of a um, platinum then, because it literally will just be collectibles. And obviously by now there'll be plenty of guides for all the collectibles. It's more the ravens that are a pain in the arse, I've noticed, because some of them just keep flying around and they're difficult to hit. Yep, we need to go save that guy. So where is he?
There he is. Is that him? Yeah, I'll pay. I'll do it. How do I do it? Do I have to... Okay, so how do I tether you? Oh, nice and easy thousand bolts here. It's just that we don't get attacked. Oh, do I have to land or... What the hell was he doing there? He was just like... Right, can, can we get armor yet? I want armor. Right, now we can go... to here. It looks like we've done all the planets, so we can go straight into the next next main mission. Which should be good. I was actually looking at um, internet packages today. So I'm currently on 200 down, 26 up. And turns out I can get fiber. Which could get me to 500 down and 56 up. And the temptation is real. <laughs> but I also know it's way too much for what I need. Uh right. Let's have a look. What we got? Oh, there's that mission, isn't there? Right there. This is your man on the ones and twos. The one who's up. Attention, Starship Signature Three Three Seven One Alpha. This is Station Chief Croy. Do you copy? I copy you, Croy. What can I do for you? We have a down transport vessel in your quadrant. We've ordered a tow ship to retrieve it, but it's on the other side of the system, and well, we'd be happy to pay you for hauling it here. What do you say? Yeah, sure. Where is it? It is over here. You there. Prepare to be tethered. Hey, outsider. Our scatter sure you're right on top of that transport vessel. Have you changed your mind about hauling it in? Thanks, outsider. We'll sink its position to your nav unit now. Um... I can't remember what I'm currently paying, but on the website it was something like £64 for the 500 Which I think is probably about double what I'm paying currently, if from what I remember right. It's something I'd like to do, but again, at this moment in time, there's only me and my wife. So we don't really need to worry about the um, connection too much because it's just the two of us. And we we don't. The only time I saturate the network is when I'm um, when I'm doing this when I'm streaming. I've got a feeling the longer the stream goes, that time can increase a little bit from what I've noticed. Like the delay gets a bit worse. But it still seems to be a pretty... Textbook. Textbook, that was. Yeah, it seems the um, the delay is actually... I, I try and set it so there's no delay. Um, but obviously delay happens no matter what. But it's not like I play like a competitive online game and want to have a delay to stop people from like stream sniping. That's not a big deal for me. Oh, I wanted to do it. I didn't want to leave.
Yeah, I'll do it. Okay, let's do it. Can't forget back to this story. <laughs> I think this is literally the last side story thing that we need to do. Um, and then we can go straight into the story. I think it's this thing I need to do. Is this it? I can't hear a thing this robot's telling me. But where'd he go? There. Oh, right, he just pays me anyway. Right, now we're going back to the story. Where do we need to go? Uh, that one. I just, especially when it's like, oh, there's money and stuff. Oh, I t I'll do that guy after the story, don't worry. Because I've got a feeling he's just a simple, like. i got a feeling that little, like, truck's just another one of those. Oh, can you just take me over here? Nah, we'll do the story. Been wanting to do the story anyway, because I think I saw a little bit of this level on, like, a, a video. I did have like someone's VOD of them playing through this game up and I kind of like was playing on my phone while I was playing it so I didn't watch the whole thing really. General, come in. I just landed in Axiom City. Where are you? I'm afraid I've run into a bit of trouble. I've had to make a slight adjustment to our plan. What kind of adjustments? Attention citizens. Rogue Lombax Alistair Asimov has been spotted within city limits. Troopers have been mobilized for your protection. Great. Don't worry, I have Tesla spikes. Tesla spikes are the ultimate defensive weapon. One spike is effective. Two or more, and they're outright lethal. When some goons approach you, try throwing a few Tesla spikes. Deadly electricity will flow between each spike, destroying nearby enemies and protecting your hide. The more you throw, the more protected you'll be. Tesla spikes. Available only at Rumble That music's uh, pretty cool. We'll buy him. It's a sniper weapon. We can do the 360 challenge. Oh yes, as soon as we get the sniper weapon, we are definitely going to try and do the 360 no scope challenge. <laughs> you you can be damn sure we're going to be doing the 360. I'm glad my, I'm glad he's kept my pirate hat on. That's the important thing of this costume right now. Right, let's. I want to get that. Uh, get the zony. Where is the zony gone? <gasps> He's over there. Oh. Gotcha. Did I get him? What happened? <laughs> I had him in my clutches. Wait, wait. He's not there anymore. Did I... Did I... I got him, I think. Can't... Uh, I don't know. I think I, think I got him. Kinder. Cool. 
Right, where are the enemies going to come from? I do find it funny, I've just turned up in this city and I'm just destroying boxes. And then people's luggage and whatnot. I hope I didn't miss the zone because of that. Okay, uh, you obviously don't want to talk to me, so. This, so that's the way he went. Let's go this way. Guessing. Oh, it's a constructor mod. Nice. So, because Becky was in the hospital, she wanted to have. Well, I didn't really want to bother cooking. Um, and Becky didn't want to, so we ended up having another McDonald's. <laughs> but they messed up our order. That's why we. That's why I was late starting the stream. Um, so they ended up sending the order to us just again, so our neighbours had part of our order as well. He says, I'm not having two full meals of McDonald's, I literally just wanted the fries that they forgot. So our neighbours had like, like some burgers and wraps from us because we didn't want them. <laughs> Proximity... We're just gonna keep contact. Yeah... I, I have to be in the right mood to cook. Um, I mean, I, I really enjoyed the, the pancakes I cooked. Uh, I don't know if you saw on Twitter, the pancakes I cooked were real good. I do want to cook a steak at some point soon, though. We've got a few steaks um, in the freezer that I need to defrost and look at, look at making up. I do like cooking steak. <laughs> well, like, it's every single time these, like, issues happen, we always let the neighbours know, like, yo, we've got, um... We got some uh, food going if you want it, and they're like the neighbors instantly like, "Yep, we'll take it." Uh, let's try and get the constructor bomb leveled up. Yeah, we never actually used to be like like we weren't really actually like friends with our neighbours, I'd say, until lockdown happened. It was on lockdown when we actually, like, started to actually, like, talk to them and communicate with them a lot more. Which is cool, actually, because we've got some good friends from it. Yeah, it has its perks. It still sucks. But it is making like your communities become closer. I've noticed like you. I've noticed the people who are, like live it, living together are actually like talking a lot more with each other as well, which is good. Whereas you, I've noticed like a lot of the time like there wasn't a lot of neighborly stuff going on. Oh. Whereas now, like, I I never really bothered with neighborly stuff, and now it's like I'm actually like happy to see my neighbours and want to talk with them and stuff. Let's do this! Hi guys! Yes, the Lombax terrorising the city is me. Right, so what's this do then? Is this going to take me back to the ship? No. Oh god. Another Lombax. Come back to vandalize more equipment. Mind your manners. Any super intelligent being can see that this is a different Lombax. 
My colleague is just upset about the rebel azimuth destroying the terminal. The firefight triggered Axiom's defensive grid, and now the entire city's closed off. Maybe you can help. What's he gonna do? Fly over the grid and activate the reboot switches? Ah, I'd love to see that. Okay, I'll do it. There's a jump pad right there. It's not difficult. <laughs> Okay, um, I have to actually time it though. That would be a good idea. G game. And nailed it. I am taking all your stuff though, guys, so just understand that. Guessing they're not happy with me being here. Well, we should level up some other gun. What do we got? Uh, Dynamo of Doom? Yeah. Okay, that's not killed him. I've got a feeling this will be a decent weapon, as long as I don't mess around with the uh, the movement, it should do some decent damage, if I can get them all lined up. Like, that's doing some good damage. What's up? Uh oh. Here you go. This ought to take you right to Nurox Plaza. Transport two activated. <laughs> Good luck, Lombax. Call me uh, shitlord. Lombax lover. Oh, shut up. Come on, shitlord. Let's get you in a good position. Come on. Oh, you're being a bugger, aren't you? Come on, do you want to be there? That's fine. Let's, uh... Where is it? There he is. <laughs> Look at that face. I just heard the squeaky as well. It's funny, because I could literally, like, leave him Attention. like that. Just a reminder to and keep playing. If I do it's just been with me since yeah, because I can literally look. Where is it? Neocam. I've leave got Neocam right there. Look. <laughs> <laughs> and then we could just carry on. <laughs> yeah, well, I, need to take I know you do. He wants to go as well, so let's uh, pop him off. If you want to, you have to go around this side and grab him. Neo's got to go for his walk. I'm sure he'll be back. Do you want to? Uh... Oh. oh, cable. She'll be alright. She'll just chill downstairs. You know what she's like. <laughs> Thomas says happy walking. <laughs> Becky says thanks. Oh, I'll have to get uh, I'll have to get Lulu up here. We uh, I don't know where I'm meant to take this. Let's grab Lulu and give her some fusses then. One sec. Lulu! That's us. Lulu, what's this? Oh. Let me know when she's back in. Let me know when she's back in, because I've had some fuss we need. She's just gone outside, Thomas. And yeah, that's close enough. Lulu, Lassie, shitlord. Well, that's no, Neo. She's shitbag. <laughs> 
Yeah, she's just gone. She's just gone outside to the toilet. So we'll. Uh, where's this guy go then? Hello? No? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just heard, I heard her bark outside and then he barked as well. I don't really know how we spell it because it's just Lulu's her nickname. Uh, but I think that's the way Becky spells it as well to be fair. What's up? Oh, okay. I don't actually know where I'm meant to go with this uh, battery bot, so I'm just going to leave him here for now. Okay. He went back that way. Get back here. Gotcha. <laughs> At least they're not... You don't have them in your face as much in this, I've noticed, unless you're playing as Clank. So they're not as creep mode for you. So what's... Is that the way... I, no, that's the way I need to go. Is that the way I came in? Yes. So what's out of the rest of this? Ooh, a plan. More the Rhino 5 plan, I'm guessing. I still got no idea where I'm meant to drop that um, battery bug thingy. Probably not much, you'd probably just use it to like record uh, Lance and Janice episodes. Ow. Oh wow, they've got long range. Don't say we should be friends and then shoot me. I... I... I only played part of COD World War 2 and the game looked good and some of the story was good but I just never ended up finishing it. Um, I didn't play it on Veteran though so I don't know how how that game plays on Veteran. But hey, it's probably one of those games which is probably not too difficult to Veteran unless it's like um, World at War where it was just crazy grenade spam. We got any more enemies? I hear another Zoni. Okay, so that's where the battery bot goes. Or is there a different battery bot? I feel like there'd be a different battery bot for this. Can I take the battery bot with me? Where is he? Where'd I leave him? Where are you, battery bot? There you are. Come here. I can take him with me. Let's go. We've got a zoni to capture.
Boom. Right. I think the dog's back in, so I'm going to grab Lulu for fusses. Last, last. such a baby girl. Yeah, when we was doing the Mass Effect playthrough with Becky, uh, we played through all the Mass Effect games with mods. And she'd just lay on the bed a lot of the time and just watch. It was kind of cute. But yeah, well, that's all on YouTube as well if you wanted to catch up and watch that. That's a, that was a cool little series. She's, she likes the attention of being fussed like this. But, um... I don't, she just doesn't, she's not the biggest fan of being picked up, but I just, I need to get even more used to it anyway, so I pick her up and give her cuddles, because she's not fighting me, which is good, and she does like this attention, but if I give her the chance, she'll just go, just like that. <laughs> yeah, Mass Effect's one of my favourite gaming, ser uh, gaming series of all time. Um, it's always been a, a big, big interest of mine. I'm very interested in what they're going to do next, especially what they've said they're doing. But I'm also very worried at the same time. Oh. Yeah, we, uh, we played it through modded, and the mod actually changed the ending of Mass Effect 3 for me. See, the thing is Becky, is, Becky doesn't like playing the games. She really likes watching the stories, though. But at the minute, we just don't have much time to do a lot of games together. We will do eventually. We will, we will look at doing some, like, other games together. Because I do enjoy doing streams with her. It is definitely one of my more fun to do. We'll have to find another point of entry. Come. Someone on the inside may be able to help us. Someone who works for Nefarious? Actually, he's a data miner at Pollux Industries. I saved him from becoming food for the Gorians. Hi, what are you doing on this The entire city is looking for you! I'm here to cash in on that favor, Jarvis. We need a way inside Pollux Industries. I knew one day you'd make me an accomplice to terrorism! I'll run a diagnostic on that security system in the meantime! Take cover. Another security team is closing in. Sink their positions to our nav units and hurry up on that diagnostic. I'm just gonna fire out a load of these uh, dynamos. We have to buy Jarvis some time to work. Ready for some combat? Because these dynamos are actually pretty cool once they just get rolling. Although I have uh, just used up all my ammo. We have said actually with uh, me and Becky, we will end up doing another Mass Effect run. When um, probably about once like she's finished all her uni and all that kind of stuff, we might look at doing the, um, the Legendary Edition run when that comes out. But because we only recently just finished the full one to three playthrough, we're going to give it a, like a, about a year or so before we do it. Okay, that's that guy out of ammo. Let's test the spikes.
I don't quite know how these Tesla spikes work. I'm just throwing them down and hoping for the best. I know this thing works well, so I'm just going to keep using this. Okay, so the Tesla spikes are sat there, but I don't quite understand what they do. Can I destroy this? Mr. Zircon, please, I need your help. And we'll do that, and that. That, he just walked away from it. Oh, there's an ammo thing right here. That's helpful. Simple enough. Not exactly. It'll take all three of us. I'm activating the transport ramps to the west side of the plaza. Head there now and await further instructions. Okay. Follow me. So I'm guessing this is just like fly around and turn stuff on. Uh Dynamo of Doom. How much damage can this thing take? Probably not. <laughs> they said no. I'm I'm glad the the series still tries to keep its humor. Oh, that guy's still alive. There we go. Oh, okay, there's more. Uh, with this, we want to use these. Can I destroy this? I can! Uh, 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 Dynamo. Hey! Okay, so this Dynamo, um, I'm actually pretty fond of. As long as I line them all up, it seems to do quite a lot of damage. Bombs. Okay. Oh, hi there, guys. Just spam it and it seems to work, I've noticed. Oh, what's he need from me? Oh, am I still just fighting at the moment? I'm very confused. What am I meant to be doing here? Doesn't say anything particularly. We're just waiting for the hack to be complete. Oh, hi there. Mr. Zircon, would you like to come out and play? 
I'm just going to fire all of them out and see if they actually do anything. <gasps> you decide. Okay, uh, hmm, what do I decide? Let's go with... We'll go push-ups because I feel like my chest and arms are getting weaker. Just pause it so just in case enemies do spawn we don't have an issue. But yeah, we'll go with uh, push-ups just like I said, my arms and chest feel like they're getting quite weak at the minute. So I wanna wanna try and boost that. Not in my fancy uh, slippers today. Yeah, just the boring socks. I think these are literally Poundland socks as well that I bought down south when I ran out. <laughs> they're not even like fancy comfy socks, they're literally just, I have these socks because they're socks. <laughs> Two Sainsbury's. Yeah. I don't go to Sainsbury's. I think the closest one's just like too far for me. I usually just get Tesco's. Like George. So I'm guessing this is just another one of those fly through stuff moments. Okay, I'll go back to that bit later. You just screamed down that microphone then. Oh, George has the... I can't remember what Tesco is this called then. But that's the one I usually get. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll go this way. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I have no idea which one the, uh, the Tesco one is. But that's what I usually get. Sweet. So that means now we can do a crazy super jump. Oh shit. Yeah, five viewers. Hi everyone. How's everyone doing? Welcome to Ratchet and Clank Cracking Time. Or as I like to call it, Lombax searches for his long lost lover. We're about to do a super jump. You made it. That worked. The main office is this way. Attention. A bioscan reveals two Lombaxes in main server room. Mobilizing all units. Okay, so they obviously know we're here now. You take the left, I'll cover the right. <gasps> we're playing time crisis now. Alright, uh, that's all that. Ah, uh, no. Yeah, to everyone joining for the first time, or anyone returning, hope you're all doing good. 
you want to just lurk in the chat, that's always cool. If you want to say hello, that's always welcome as well. We are trying to, at the moment, get to the Obsidian Eye, so we can try and contact Clank. Hurrah! Uh, I should pay attention, because not paying attention is what gets me killed. There is so many bolts everywhere. I don't need cover, I need my Dynamo Doom. Okay, it did something. We're clear. I killed stuff. That's all. Auxiliary units to main server room. Repeat. Auxiliary units to main server room. Okay. I really need to stop doing that. Yeah, that's like every single time you say we think we're done, more enemies turn up, Ratchet. I mean, that's happened in like literally every game you've done so far. Ooh, payload. Vertical blast emitter which focuses the bomb's power directly into the sky. I'm interested in trying that one. You there, enemy! That was cool. <laughs> okay. No, give me the bombs. I'm I'm not gonna lie, that's actually pretty cool the way it just explodes upwards. Let's uh swing across. I'm hoping we get the um I'm hoping we get the uh the the the, the, the like sniper rifle soon. So we can look at to doing the uh the 360 challenge. That's a lot of dynamos out there now. Zircon, help me. Zircon, please. You are very weak in this game, I've noticed. Yeah, the, the, the bomb's cool with those upwards fireworks. <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see how it works because obviously the other ones have been a bit different at times so I'm hoping it does work in the way we intend it to god we get so many bolts from the destruction of this place I don't want you to have this one. Let me take them because I need the level up for my weapons. Send everything you got, Nefarious. It won't change a thing. Oof, nearly got hit then. Yay! <laughs> not, not. <laughs> yeah. Oh, which moment you clip him? Oh, you're gonna clip the uh, the 360 moment. I'll get this one. You're all clear. Let's move. Be cool if we do, because we can have all the 360 moments. I think will be clipped by that point, so we can like make a little compilation of all the 360 moments. I don't want to worry about the last one, dude. I'll be able to pull that from the VODs. Hello, 
look, you've met the Elder. Pity the first Lombax you meet is the shame of his entire race. So what is it this time, Nefarious? He's still trying to turn everyone into robots, or is it just good old-fashioned galactic domination? Part of me wants to let you live long enough to find out. The other part really wants to kill you. You know, for old time's sake. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I always find it funny, like, how much that voice actor hams it up as Nefarious. He must really enjoy doing that character. I like how none of the guys behind them care. They're just like, no, I'm here to work. Yes, it is. But we can do it. We've, we fought bigger. In fact, I think we fought bigger in Ratchet 2 or 3. Extremely dedicated workers. I'd be out of that building in a shot. Hi, guys. Are you going to drop more enemies? What types? Oh, we've got gun types. That's fine. We come in peace, he says, as he shoots me. Okay, so he's slowly destroying the floor in front of me. What do we do? Oh god, that was close. Uh... Can I shoot it with my pistol? Doesn't look like it. What do we do? Do we have to just keep dodging him? Oh, sweet. Okay, so we just dive on. That's fine. Nailed it. So now what do we do? Do we have to just, like, break it apart bit by bit, Shadow of Colossus style? Looks like those things that are moving around are what we're gonna have to take apart. The bolt's exposed. Go for it. This is a really big design flaw. Like bad guys always make like really weird design flaws. Out. Please. Please leave me alone. Okay. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, it spun back around. I wasn't expecting it to spin back around. Leave me alone. No. Ow. Death Star design fault. Yeah, every... Oh, my God. They do so much damage. I keep messing up. Please give me, like, a few small enemies so I can get my health back. I should stop going to that bottom area. Hi. Let's take the full lapse of it. Maybe that will help. Okay, it's gonna... It's gonna... Uh, okay, let's... Let's go back this way, maybe? Please? Yeah, every every villain is like, Aha! This is my ultimate weapon! You will never find the weak spot! Um, is it the glowing red eye on the top of the head that looks like it's a weak spot? Or, or Resident Evil, for instance. <gasps> this super powerful being! But the very obvious eye is the, the weak spot. <laughs> hey, health upgrade. Oh, 
Oh, leveled up the dynamo. I'm trying to think of like other other design flaws in like bad guy stuff now. Cause obviously Resident Evil always has them. Like glowing glowing um zones are always there. I think I can't remember if Bayonetta had them. Can I? Can I? Please. Come on, Ratchet. Flash onto the ship. I'm on. Wow, it's cool to see uh, quite a few people in today. Thanks. Oh, thanks everyone for joining. More than welcome to say hello in the chat. You're more than welcome to also lurk if you'd like. Oh God. Those eyes just watching me. Do I destroy these? Yeah. Oh, I do. Okay. Ow. Uh. I, I'm just gonna shoot things, Asma. There's a standard. This is all I've ever done. <laughs> yeah, mate, it's, it's cool. I like I like having the people here. If people, like I said, if I like the uh, the growth of the channel, it's always cool. I'm not here to be big. I'm not here to be cool. I'm not here to be fancy or anything like that. I just want to provide the entertainment for people. And if people are here and they're enjoying themselves, that's great. Oh, okay, you've changed his head. Uh, 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 Zircon. Uh, uh, bombs. Uh, lasers. Oh, Zerko leveled up. Uh, Tesla spikes. I don't know what they're going to do, but they'll do something. And they're doing nothing. Uh, Zircon, come back. Please. Zircon, help. Did we do it? We do it? No, no, no. <laughs> it's the extremely fancy nut button. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Come on, come on. Hang on. Yeah, this isn't any like fancy speedrunning stream or any fancy like achievement hunting stream. This is just I play games. Sometimes stupid shit happens. <laughs> I have dogs as well. Oh, okay, so I'm guessing that's this planet done. Cool. Uh, let's go. Oh yeah, Zony upgrades. What do we get? Kinetic demolishers. The Zony blaster fires orbs of pure energy capable of ricocheting off targets and maximizing your effectiveness. Okay. So we actually get weapons for the ship as well. That's pretty cool. I was expecting just to have those blasters and missiles the entire game. The Polaris Compendium of historical importance suggests that Tauron 5 was once home to a thriving fungoid metropolis. The rumor suggests it may. Okay, thanks, game. I didn't want to read that anyway. <laughs> Not like I struggled to read. <laughs> Copy that. I've got the coordinates. Just so you know, I'm sorry I had to go so long without another Lombax to talk to. If I'd known you were alive, I would have come for you. Just know that from this day forth, you have a family. Um, that's death lag. That's, that's full on death lag. He is so going to die by the end of this. 
I read you, Orion. This is Ratchet. What seems to be the problem? Space pirates attacked my ship and damaged my gravimetric warp capacitor. I've been trying to repurpose these bits of space junk to repair it, but my tether's too weak. Would you be so kind as to throw a few my way? Sure. Why do these guys all sound really creepy? Like, the way he was speaking to me then was like... Quite, like... Maybe throw a few my way. Like, okay. Come on, aim at one. Pieces. And I should be able to repair the capacitor. The capacitor. I don't want that. I want that. Nice work, outsider. You saw our friend to the work environment. Okay, apparently I'm a friend. Is that everything done in this place? I think it is. Cool. Well, let's go to the next sector. Pollux believes the entire procedure will require approximately 183 paradoxes. 84 if the blog participate. Oh, not the blog. I suggest we allow the Tarachnoids to examine the chamber. Hey! Spiderpork, thank you very much for the follow. I don't know why that made me laugh so much. Unacceptable. Oh no. Well, hello there. Karina. Bonjour. And Libra. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Valkyries. Decades ago, your colony was atomized in the. Hey, how you doing? How would you like to have it back? <gasps> I love the way that bad guy comes in as Dr. Nefarious. <laughs> and now he's like really scared. Anyway, sorry, um, Spider Pork. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. If you want to lurk around, that's always cool. If you want to talk in the chat, that's always cool as well. But thank you very much for the follow, and I hope you enjoy. You already said that one, Clank. <laughs> so I guess now we're going back to the puzzle mode, which is cool. Fix. Why is it that literally every other robot can like fly in this and Clank's like the only other one that can't really fly? What do they say? Never put up today what you've already done yesterday. No, that's not right. Always do today what you didn't put off yesterday. Nope, nope, that wasn't it either. Yeah, oh, well, it was something about doing stuff and when it should be done. This way, sir. Run away from the explosions in slow motion. Clank is a defect. Is that why he can't fly, do you think? Whereas every other robot can? Unless he gets like the cool fuel stuff, he's never able to fly. Although flying around in, um, was it Tools of Destruction? With the like glide pack type thing, the robo wings? That was fun. I fix. I fix. Anything else to fix? No. I fix. Oh, okay. 
Sigmund, why am I not affected by altered time? That's your quantum actuator at work. It provides temporal immunity for those of us who protect time. Oh, this is an easy one. Temporal recording initiated. We'll go and land on this. No, nope. go. Temporal recording initiated. And Temporal go. Recording initiated. I must fix. Come on, orientation room this way. The bolts, man, it's Jesus. Awesome is part of the clock. Large screen crystal X display. BG ninety eight hundred game system. The works. Okay. Take a seat, sir. Orientation video is about to start. That's a really fancy chair for like that area. Like when you look at everything else, that chair just looks completely out of position. Orvis Industries presents the Great Clock and You with your host Orvis. Hello and uh, oh, is it on, uh, Sigmund? Uh, the light is blinking. Uh, should it be blinking? Ah, uh, hold on, sir. It is a fancy chair. I do like it. Try now. Hello and uh, welcome to the Great Clock. You're here because you've been selected to join our team, and we couldn't be happier to have you. God, this is worse than those people that film in portrait mode. Let's take a look at what the Great Clock is. Eons ago, our kind entrusted the Fongoids with a special gift. The gift of time travel. We had hoped it would enrich their lives as it did ours, but uh, unfortunately... They loused it up! Uh, Sigmund, <clears throat> let's just say they were overzealous in its use. After only 3,000 short years, the Fongoid's use of time travel wore the space-time continuum thin. Paradoxes stacked on top of paradoxes, conundrums on top of conundrums, until one day, a tiny rift in the continuum destroyed 83 celestial entities. Existence, it seemed, was at an end. If the universe so the Fongoids did that. Designed a special gift to repair the Yo, the Fungoids killed a lot of people. Clock, built in the exact center of the universe. Give, it Give or take 50 feet. The clock would repair the rift and restore temporal normality to the universe. And that, my son, is where you come in. There are only two rules concerning the operation of the great clock. Number one, under no circumstances is it to be used as a time machine. The clock is not meant to alter time, only to keep it. Number two, should you find yourself wanting to use the clock as a time machine, consult rule number one. <laughs> Did you hear that, Sigmund? Because rule number one, you see, says don't do it. <laughs> He's got proper it, sir. All right, all right. Uh, let's go have some tea. Incredible. The great clock is responsible for temporal stability across the universe. Now you know why Orvis kept it such a secret. Without this station, the universe would just collapse on itself. And where is the real Orvis? I told you. It's a secret. Now, come on. It's time for another lesson. The Zonia British confirmed. It's confirmed right here. We'll have to update the Wikipedia page saying that the Zonia are definitely British, and it was uh, it was confirmed on uh, Twitch.tv forward slash IKT Oasis. He gets his own little camera and everything. <laughs> Use the mnemonic station. What's next? Hello, XJ061. Hello. It's good to see you again. Good and boy. now it's time for your most important lesson. Hmm. What am I learning this time? 
the clock's primary oh yeah you get credit definitely to maintain temporal normality when that normality is threatened you must act to repair it immediately Time anomalies detected. everyone in the, everyone in the stream currently would get credit we all did it together it was a team effort <laughs> it has fallen prey to temporal rifts. As caretaker, it's up to you to fix it. Go ahead, give it a try. Fix so... By focusing your chronoceptor's beam on oh, each okay. anomaly. You're doing quite well. Oh, okay, so they get worse as time goes if I don't touch them. Oh, and they double up, okay. Dark Seekers can we break the time anomalies, so we have to destroy- Okay, we aim to destroy those first. Yeah, man. Neo is making history. Let's get rid of that and that. Oh, I want to get rid of that one. Oh, come on. The Dark Seeker just turned up out of nowhere. There we go. Yeah, right, buddy. Work, dear boy. Now come. There's one more thing I want to show you. He's tired already. He's resting on my arm. Oh, he's heard someone. When they fire at you, just swing your chrono scepter. Give them a taste of their own there was a weird clipping in the sound then with the game. The is also you see him, he's just chilling. He's got his own little camera and everything. I hope you don't mind, but I borrowed... What's that? Oh, oh, oh. I think he wants his mummy. Oh, you're going to slip off. Careful. Yeah, he wants his mummy. I'm a mummy's boy, innit? <laughs> oh. Eventually he's gonna get too big to sit on my lap and watch the stream with me though. Mm. We'll have to figure something else out for him. Chair. Yeah, we'll get a little chair, we'll put another camera up so we can sit in the chair. chair. We'll put him on that one, yeah. We'll put him on that one, put a little yes. camera set up for him and he can just watch. <laughs> <laughs> See you in a bit. <laughs> Okay, so we just hit things back. So it doesn't look like there's any like specific aiming to it. I just have to hit it and the timing window is very forgiving. I mean, can I just literally? Yeah, I can at least just spam it. As long as I think I'm aiming like pointed directly at them. No, no, I'm not waiting for you. Oh, I have to wait and shoot him back. They have baseball in this universe? Interesting. Wouldn't that be a bit, um, like, easy for some of the robots? Six one, and now you're ready for the task ahead. Go forth and fix time. Save the universe. When you're ready, my. I wonder if there's diff the, the different galaxies are like. Program terminated. I wonder if the different galaxies are like different like countries. Like I wonder if some of the other ones have been like European oh, countries. Are you ready to repair time? Ready as I will ever be, Sigmund. But may I ask? Can I just like sit on this? Can you just chill? Sit down? No, I guess not. All Americans know baseball. 
I have no idea about the rules of baseball. I know they throw a ball, they hit a ball, and they run around, and that's about it. That's literally all I know. Okay, so these enemies I actually have to hit back multiple things. That's fine. Uh oh. Let's fix time. Ooh. We'll destroy everything. Okay, that's cool. Oh, you can chain them. That's cool. Oh wow, you can really chain them. You have to really like focus though on some of these points though. Oh, okay. So I've actually got to like kind of. We do it. We do it. Nice. It's fair though. Like me saying I don't know much about baseball is not really a big thing. I don't know much about most sports. I fix. Okay, we got another. Looks like another puzzle here. So that will open that, and that will drop that. So I've got a feeling I need that first to get one inside, and I'll need one to hold the lift down. So let's do this first. Temporal recording initiated. Yeah. Temporal recording initiated. That bring that down. And let's say that's about enough time. And now we go over this one. Temporal recording initiated. I don't think I gave myself enough time. Oh, I did. Just enough time. Now I can take this one. Temporal recording initiated. And now we can get through. Nice. These puzzles aren't too difficult, actually. They're just... They're actually pretty fun to do, because they're not, like, super difficult puzzles. But they're not so easy that they're boring. Oh, okay. Gold ball over there. Let's go get that. Go ball. Yay. Right. Looks like we've got a few more of those uh, planet protection things to do. So let's go through. I shouldn't have done that. I saved it though. Throw the bomb off there so I can get all the bolts. Anything to fix? Is to all personnel, please 
What is it with the enemies in these games and committing suicide? He just walked completely off the ledge. That's literally happened in every game, I think. And now we have another one of these Mad Dash World Savers to fix anomalies quickly. Oh, that's really useful. Where are they all? Okay. No. No! Come on. Yeah, 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 got it. He still even said nope. There was that one, um, I think it was on the last one where we was in the, was in the gladiator room. I need to actually see if I can get that as like a, a clip because like four of them just ran off the ledge while we was doing the gladiator section. Let's see if these guys will do it as well. I got the Custodian of Time. Okay, what are the skill points we can actually do in there? Skill points, cheats, customize, a Phalion. Ooh, Hot Rod, Racer, Military, Zony. Let's try Racer, see what that looks like when we get to it. Okay, so what do these buttons do? What's this one do? Oh, that's a nice easy one then, just boom. Oh, no. Temporal recording initiated. Then we just go. Temporal recording initiated. Oh, they move, okay. I didn't expect them to move at first, so I wasn't ready for that. Rift repaired on engineering deck 13. Lockdown. That was not a puzzle, that was just a platform. Here you go, sir. Now what? Oh, more enemies. Hi. I fix. I fix. Slow down. Is that everyone? Junior care. Hold on, sir. I'll get the door. Repeat. Junior caretaker to Solana Terminal Six. They keep asking for this junior caretaker. Care the, the the the. I'm good with words, honest. They keep asking for the junior caretaker. Care oh my god, I can't speak. <laughs> so that raises that. If that's fine. So. Let's. Use you. Boom, boom, do, 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 do. That'll be there. Temporal recording initiated. Timed it perfectly. Temporal recording in 
initiated. Right, now the issue will be is how will I... Get the third guy up there. Ah, yep, so it was the middle one I need to use. Temporal recording initiated. And then I can follow up. Come on, let us up. And then I need to save him. And jobs are good. Then. That wasn't too difficult, actually. That was, that was a nice one that was like, hmm, I have to think about this one. G G I literally cannot see a thing when you do that game. <laughs> We're getting a lot of bolts. Like, what are we going to have to spend these on? Because we've got, like, nearly 60k now. So I'm wondering what crazy stuff we're going to have to spend on. Because you know there's going to be sections of this game where it's like, Oh, yeah, you need 100k to buy this. Get back here, get back here. Rift repaired on engineering deck 13. Lockdown terminated. Time anomalies detected on planet Tarachnos. Tarachnos? Why is that name ring a bell? Or am I just thinking of a different game? And those swarmer enemies, those like flying ones, are really annoying. Oh, nice clump of bolts there. Slow time, slows time across the planet. Oh, okay, so it just basically makes it nice and easy to follow things. That's easy. Let's go. Where is everyone? Come here. One. So the explosions are really cool when they go off and like fix everything. There we go. That one's actually not too bad. Temporal normality restored. Isn't that where the enemy of two is that this 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 the Tarachnos? I'm not sure. The name rings a bell though, Tarachnos or whatever Tarachnos or whatever it was that she said. It would not hurt to say please once in a while. Computer got sass. Like, to be fair though, he didn't say please. And you should always remember your P's and Q's. Another fancy chair. Accessing archives. Hello, Sigmund. I just wanted to let you know I will be traveling to the Tombly outpost on Xanafar and will not be back until morning. A fellow scientist has requested an audience with me, and etiquette dictates I comply. Don't go, sir. Mind the clock while I'm gone. Uh, wind the time cleaners, and, uh, Sigmund, uh, let's just keep this our little secret. As the kids say, BRB. <laughs> Please don't go. End recording. 
it's dangerous. Oh, poor guy. I was worried he was like a betrayer or something at one point earlier in the game. But now I see him, it's like, nah, he's just sad. Okay. That voice act, that's perfect. Are we fighting the dude sounding one? Yes, I'm fighting the the um the male voice acted one. I like these bouncing bullets though, these are cool. Can one of you guys give me health or something? Oh there we go, health. Nice. He says just you and me, and all of your friends who are fighting me as well. I thought she was going to say, alright ladies, you heard the man then. I wonder what, like, um, secondary missiles I get, then. Because, obviously, we're getting secondary lasers. This rapid fire is really good. Boom. Done. Yeah, these Valkyries are definitely different looking to the ones in God of War. I mean, I didn't rip this one's wings off and f stab it through the back, so... Bye. Cool. Oh, okay, so this is the, uh... I don't like that paint job. I don't like green, not gonna lie. Uh, what other paint jobs can we have? Military. Military's interesting. Oh, we're going with Hot Rod. It's called it. That's it. Maximilian Zane here telling you commuters out there to buckle up. Space ain't all that spacious, and we want to keep each other safe. And now, another Deep Space Jam. <laughs> deep Space Jam. Such a... Uh, probably going to be streaming for... Probably another hour or so. Did you tell them you were a thrill-seeking warrior with a thirst for battle? I was trying to make friends. Listen, I'm in a lot of trouble. They've entered me in their tournament. You gotta get me out of here. All right, I'll be there as soon as I can. Just find some place to hide and stay put until I get there. Gladiators. Work out. It's gonna be the gladiator bit. Yes, I like it when we do the gladiator sections. Weapons. All right, Chief. Still no plasma striker. Still no new armor. What you got? Hey there, outsider. Are you here to claim the reward? <laughs> the reward for my missing army casket. I left it on one of the moons when I moved my <coughs> ship out here. I would have picked it up myself, <coughs> but work's been crazy around here. Yeah, just a non-stop flow of Wrong all. Anyway, if you find it, I'll give you a reward. <coughs> Jesus. I hate it when that happens and you take a drink and it just goes down the wrong hole. Uh, 
Right. What we got? Agorian Battleplex, Krell Canyon, Tomley Outpost. I've already had it once. I hope I don't get it again. I, don't, I really can't be dealing with getting it again. It was uh, not fun. Stop shooting me, I'm in a cutscene. It's just mean. Uh, I don't really... Hmm. Oh, these will work. Is that everything? I feel like there'd be a uh, gold bolt on this planet. Oh, hi guys. Some little enemies, that's fine, we'll use... Camo crates, that's what they were called. Come on, break the box, please. Thank you. You got anything for me to talk about? Hey, outsider. I was wondering if you'd be interested in helping out a local businessman. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. My corporate competitor has been hauling out hollow boards all over the sector, and it's ruining my business. Give just a Psst. few of them to them. Um, Can you just destroy my competitor's shipments? I'll pay you. Basically, yeah. Break up this guy's shipments. Um, I really feel like they'd be... There is, it's right there. I knew it. I knew there'd be one somewhere. Come on, the aiming on the bombs is a bit weird. Head like a rock. Guessing that's breaking off of those uh, boxes with your head then, I guess. You decide! Uh, we'll do squats, we haven't done squats for a while. Well, let's just pause that though so we don't fly off. We'll do some squats. We'll put the camera about there. That should. <laughs> Come on, camera, stop making the thing move, please. Uh, about. Come on. Oh, there. Cool. So I need to make sure my head gets into the view, and that means I've done a proper squat then. Let's see, move it a little bit over that way. There we go.
Whew. Deep squats, they were, geez. Right, so that's that one done. How many? I need one more zoni. So we'll go do that place because we know there's a zoni there. Rusty Pete. Off the edge, that'll work. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm interested in this, uh, in Pete's. Rusty Pete said, Yeah. I'm, in I'm interested in that. Uh. Do you crave the emotional satisfaction that only comes from crushing skulls? If so, See ya. We're gonna do. We're gonna get the upgrade for the ship, and then we're gonna go do some battleplex battles. We'll do some of the gladiator battles. They're fun. Wow, that just cleared the entire thing. Throwing the wrench into those guys looks incredibly brutal. We at the top? No. Wow, he was walking around like he owned the place. I. In the arms of an angel. Wait a minute, how much? Because the way the planet works, you can actually go like really far flying around. <laughs> I don't goofed. That's the easiest way of putting that. Well, at least these guys aren't too difficult to fight, and to be fair, they're not giving me that much charge. Oh, game. Oh, game. Game. I, uh... That was on me. I screwed up. Completely. Oh, well. Take... Take two? I probably could have tried to go across. I'm uh, not going to go across there. The sad thing is, FaZe are always watching. Yeah. 
My application is ruined. Made it across that time. These camo crates aren't that well hidden, let's face it. Hi, Zony. Wee. So that will be another upgrade. Nicely. Now, is there... I feel like there'd be a gold bolt on one of these platforms somewhere, but we'll find out. What's the upgrade? Plasma torpedoes. Lock up to four enemies. Okay. All that effort for a freaking zony. <laughs> hey, it got me plasma tornadoes. Plasma torpedoes, so I'm okay with it. No, don't land, damn it. Get, get in the ship. I wanted to look at my weapons. Press and hold. Okay. Let's start some combat so we can see what these are like. Okay, they work. Uh, wrong button. I prefer the normal torpedoes and the impaler missiles, to be fair. I like not having to just hold L1. Yes, you must, and you are going to die. Right, where is the Battleplex place? Is it that one, or... Xanifar? The Agorian Battleplex? Is that just that ship? It is just the ship. Okay, let's go to the ship. That was a Constructo mod. We're definitely going to have to get that at some point. Uh, Russian Lurs, Crow Canyon. Contact Clanky Mayward to get coordinates to the Great Clock before Dr. Nefarious causes any more trouble. Okay. Yeah, the, the Hot Rod one looks better than the... Uh, the other ones we was having. Alright, let's get a move on. Let's do the Battleplex. Look at that. F he looks like completely like a fish out of water. Oh. Okay. What's all this stuff? While Rogan may not have been the greatest warrior in Algorian history, he received the spot in the Hall of Glory because he possessed something none of us had. An uncle on the Algorian <laughs> Council for Equal Opportunity Dismemberment. Sadly, Rogan was flattened by a Hydra tank before the statue was completed. Fare thee well, honorless amateur. May the death of, may the death of weasels of Proteus Seven nip at your glarf nails for all eternity. Some words in there. Ivan the Beautiful. I'm not going to read through all of those. What are these doing? Oh. Welcome, welcome, welcome to open fight night at the Battleplex. You like to fight? You like to mix it up? You look like a mixer upper. What's your name, Spoon? I'm Ratchet. Glarfnells. <laughs> Glarf. No, no, it's not happening. <laughs> Kidding! I'm Mac. You have to excuse the hologram. Folks around here have a tendency to throw things. Take a look around. If you need anything, Max, your guy. Why have they given? Why have they given him a a weird like comb over? <laughs> you got something to prove, huh? You got Moxie, kid. I like that. Head over to the gladiator entrance. 
Okay, so we just go over there, do the stuff. Ah, you noticed that, huh? The Agorians may be strong, but they're a bit short-changed in the brain department. So they hide Don't say that out loud. Well, rip you apart. Plate my blaster run hot. My blaster runs hot. The game. One player. Two players. One player. Let's do this. Oh, okay, so it's... Oh. What? I've got a feeling there's like a... There's most likely going to be a, like a trophy for this. Oh no, you, you, you died instantly. How? Oh. How was I meant to save her when she died instantly? Oh. You literally walked into their legs. How was I going to save you, lady? Score one for justice. I'll save you, citizen. I saved them. Uh, no, 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 no. You messed with the uh, wrong uh, civil uh, servant. I'll save you, citizen. Save the baby. Ah. Anybody call for a ridiculously attractive savior? This is uh, like a top-down bullet hell now, all of a sudden. Score one for justice. Save the babies. Crouching kitten chop. Crouching kitten chop, okay. I don't... Oh, screw it. I'm guessing Rusty P is the other character that you can play. We've got company. I want to know what the um. Do my I wonder what the uh the trophy is for this game. Like you know for a fact there's going to be one. What the hell is these? Is it tanks? Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to use the like. Okay, so it does seem like there's a little bit of auto aim in this. Was there ever a sequel though, Quark? I completely missed the tank that I was trying to aim for. I keep missing them. Oh, I'm dead. Oh no, I didn't quit. I don't want to play that again. <laughs> That's a bit tedious. I'm wondering what, like, how many points you have to get to get the um to get the uh, like the trophy for that because you know there is one. Give you extra time to replenish your ammo, make your escape, 
All deliver a crushing blow to your would-be dispatches using the incendiary weapon of your choice. The oh, so that gun is in this game. Sweet. Whatever it was called. The cool right. rocket launch from the previous game. We're going to get the armor first because that's more expensive. Plus it looks pretty cool. Oh, it's actually like matching the uh, pirate hat now as well. That's cool. Right. Let's go in and fight. Enter the tournament. Okay, so there's two championships. Oh, wow. There's quite a few cups as well. Five rounds of deadly combat. Okay. He says this as my Zircon is killing everything for me. Come on, Zircon, you can do it. I'm just gonna use up all my. Uh... Uh. Yeah, I don't. I actually kind of don't want to buy the next armor because I kind of like the way it matches the armor set. Oh! I did not realize you could charge it. Holy crap! That's so much better. I wish I'd have known that beforehand. Okay, we're going to get some slowdown from the looks of it. I can't tell if that's the game slowing down or just that weapon slowing down. That plasma coil is really good when you charge it up. Like, really good. Oh, we get a Zony for this one. Cool. Uh, Trillion Blaze. Management decides to make the best of the situation. I'm glad I don't have to use the six axis controls for it to go. Like. Okay, so the enemies are, as usual, killing themselves on the uh, environmental hazards. Ow, so am I. Wow, it... I need to turn this game down for you guys at this point. It's really quite loud. I've noticed the gladiator arenas usually are, though. Uh. Well, even when I've turned it down this much, it's still kind of loud for you guys. Let me know if it's um, if the game's too loud. I can always turn it down a bit more for you guys. It's 
It's all right. Okay, that's fine then. Just didn't want it to be like ridiculously overbearing because I know the combat in like the gladiator arena always gets quite loud. I think pretty much every Ratchet game with the combat, like the gladiator areas, we've had to turn the volume down. <laughs> Return to sender. Defeat the Argonians with their own bombs. Okay. Give me a bomb. Throw a bomb at me, please. The scream he made there. Oh wow, so I got a skill point for catching it as it came through to me, I'm guessing. Ah! Oh, come on, pick it up. Okay, so it does get a bit awkward at times. Trying to, like, catch the bombs. There we go, done. It's literally like hot potato, yeah. Except the potato isn't just hot, it will actually explode in your face. So what's the constructor mod we got? I want to check. Uh, inventory. Constructor bomb. Ooh, upgrade. Each bomb contain comes packed with shards of razor sharp trillium shrapnel. Oh yep. Well either way, it's better than what we've better than nothing from the upgrades, so we'll keep that on. Let's check for any ammo. Oh, we can buy that, so might as well. And let's carry on. Oh, hollow plan, cool. Uh, uh, Gorians, one sadistic child's dream has become your nightmare. So, by three waves of combat while navigating an array of deadly sinking platforms. Okay. We might as well make them. S oh, they're over there. Right, uh, what do we have that we can use? Will this reach? No. This does. My bombs are better than yours. Wait, did that guy just like eat some of his own bombs? Okay, those guys are going mad firing all the bombs at me. Last round. Hi guys. My bombs are better. Just letting you know. Zircon, you're, you're not paid to slack off. Okay, you guys have got bombs. Right, I need to... Aha! Oh! Uh. Oh, right, there's still more of you. There we go, done. Rhino plan. So how many of these were? Is it 10? I'm sure the game said there was 10. The negotiator, that's the weapon I want. That's the rocket launcher. They're gonna give me Quark and it's gonna be useless.
<laughs> it's Captain Quark. I didn't take a three week hero correspondence course to be called Mr. Just take the gun. Groove Drum. And. Oh, wow, Quark dances as well. Oh, that guy's too cool to dance. He's just going to tap his foot. Okay, so the Groovatron lasts quite a while. Is Quark doing the robot there? Oh, oh god, I didn't realise there was enemies right in front of me. The dynamo is definitely my favorite weapon so far. <laughs> Quark dance. No, 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 no. Uh, and we'll use the Gro Groovatron again. We might as well just make it ridiculously easy for ourselves. Is that it? Yes, that's it. Oh no, boss fight. It's time for the war appear, Ratchet. While I was in captivity, I trained with the elite Umbuku gladiators of Terraclon 6. My body is in peak physical condition. My sense is sharp as trillium razor. Release the war grok! Okay. What's the point in the chain if he can break it? Time to fight, I guess. Quark is a, a little bit of a pussy. Okay, we're out of ammo for that. Constructor bomb. Ow. Why was that roar so loud? Jesus Christ! I'm gonna swap the Constructo Bomb back to a... the standard explosion. Jesus Christ, that, that roar was so ridiculously loud. Yeah, why is this guy so loud? Uh, you. Wow, I got rid of literally near all of them. Where is he? Oh, he just glitched into time. I'm, I really, really, really hope that that really loud growl isn't going to be continued throughout this game, because that sucked. Quark, I'm literally dying right now. Oh, 
<laughs> Why do you do that sooner? Can, can, can we throw the wrench at him? Okay. Yes, the negotiator. The negotiator. The latest in Krummelnet's line of rocket propelled incendiary devices. This explosive weapon was designed to solve problems in two easy steps. Point and shoot. Just the best way. Whoever's giving you great band. Boom. Problem solved. <laughs> you really want it for that? No, it's no, it's no, it's no. Let's check the inventory uh, hollow plans. Okay, so there's 10, so we're already like a third of the way there, which is fine. Have we got more of these to do? There is. Defeat enemies, defeat 60 enemies in 60 seconds. Okay, let's do it. It's really not difficult as long as you've got a wide ranged weapon and Mr. Zircon just backing you up. Mr. Zircon, come back. You're not allowed to leave yet. Mr. Zircon, you must always be there in these challenges. It makes it much easier for me. Fun with fusion turrets. The Volos donated a fusion turret to the Battleplex as a peace offering to show their appreciation. The Agorians have offered to suspend their next invasion and instead focus their attention on you. I have to use it to shoot cluster bombs. Okay. I'm actually having to really kind of focus on where they're coming from to make sure that I'm not going to miss them. Ow. Doesn't help when the uh, sensitivity isn't quite strong enough. There we go. Lifted and gifted. I wonder what that one was for. Another zoni. What do we unlock next? I'll have to have a look at some point. The art of negotiation. Uh, Columbus to, to dismemberment feels your arsenal is a tad excessive. Survive an onslaught of bloodthirsty gladiators using only the wrench and your trusty negotiator. Okay. I've not used the negotiator yet, so this will be interesting. Phalion, we will get the quantum reflector. Sweet. Is that all of them? Okay. I 
I don't understand why like they make it a big deal about only having the blade and the negotiator when the negotiator is one of the best weapons in the game. Ow, do you mind? The only issue with it is how slow it fires at times. Oh, I'm out of ammo. You there! Take a rocket to the face. Wow! Ah! They make some right screams. You decide. Okay, we'll do it. Literally, we'll finish this wave, and then what we'll do is we'll do more push-ups because, like I said, I feel weak with those at the moment. Come on, get me the lock on. And that should be everyone. And we've done it. Cool. Right, so we're going to do... Going to do another set of 10 push-ups. I wonder, actually. I don't want this on the floor, though. Uh, let's see. Does it reach? Down here. Oh, it just barely reaches but it's not going to stay in place because of the cable. Right, like, there. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. We'll do it there. Here we go. Oh, I just like doing the cam. It makes it so it's not just like hidden in the top corner. Makes it easier for people to understand what I'm doing is say if someone joins the stream halfway through. I mean like doing the workout. We've got another constructor mod, so let's check on that. For the mega construction upgrade. Might as well just equip it. Ooh. Name your poison. Oh, the box basher. Yes. So basically, kill the opponents. That's fine. Let's keep doing dynamo. Does he drop health? Do enemies drop health or anything? Because if they don't, I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to bother, like, using the, um... The Groovatron. Oh, where are you to come from? Okay. It's a very slow death. Four round. Oh, did it. Sweet. Oh. 
And... Was this a... Oh yeah, the box basher. Yes. This is going to make it so much easier with the crates now. Ooh, Spiral of Death. Test your might against the Elite Hydra tank, a fully armoured Agorian prototype harnessing the Electro-Strom Fission Shockers, Omniflux Pulse Blasters, and detachable Hydra turrets. Oh! And cup holders. <laughs> We're just going to use up all the ammo we have on this thing. Apparently it can't be hurt at the minute. Ah, you see I have to take off each fuse. That's really not a good attack. Right, so it looks like we're not going to get ammo drops. Oh, Groove Charm. Are they working? Oh yeah, they are. Let's just uh, put him down for a little bit more. Oh wait, so now he gives me ammo. Boom. That, was actually, that wasn't actually that difficult for a boss. I think what we'll do... Ooh, that looks cool. I like the Grommelnet stuff. It's better than Gadgetron by far. Oh, okay, that's quick. Interesting. But yeah, I think what we'll do, we'll do the gold championship. Because so then we've got all of it done. Five rounds of enemies without taking a single hit. Okay, let's do this. We're going to get... Zircon out. We're gonna probably rely on the Groovatron as well. Here's the next wave. Use the dynamo for that one enemy. You're dropping them all here, that's fine. It means I can just put the dynamo long ways. No! Tried to backflip out of the way of it, he just spawned right on top of me. Let's try this again. Oh, 
Oh, hi there. Why aren't you shooting him, Zircon? Zircon! Get Zircon back out. And we'll throw a Groovatron glove over there. Oh, why are you not dancing? We're out of ammo for that now, so negotiator time. Get the bombs out. Because I'm worried about these guys, but I think we should be golden. Nice! Yeah, I got hit. It sucked. I had to do it again. <laughs> I've got a feeling they have set spawns. I just kept on going exactly where they were spawning at the time. <laughs> Endangered Species, Local Hunted Union 865 has formally protested your participation in this competition to assure their, to assuage their anger that the council has agreed to let them all take you on at once. Can you survive three minutes alone with a battalion of Agarian thugs? Agorian thugs. Uh, should be able to. Basically just survive. That's fine by me. Dynamo of Doom it is. Oh, come on, you have to spawn up there. Are you going to keep spawning up there? You are. Are they going to give me ammo, or is it just going to be a use what you've got kind of scenario? Get off away from me. No. Right. Well, game's uh picking up now. That's fine. Ow. The issue I've got is those guys are up there. Ah, finally some ammo. Yeah, we've taken out all those people. Now, when he says all those names, it's like, oh, wow, we've actually defeated a lot of bad guys. Uh, nothing for that. Zircon, you can come out again. I don't want Constructor Bullets. I want Negotiator Ammo. There, that's what I need. No. Oh, I forgot about this. Get away from me. Uh, Constructor bombs. I can't actually hit those guys without the rockets, I think, or the Constructor pistol. So I'm just going to leave them. Uh, do I have the rockets? No, I have a spiral of death, though. Can I hit them with a the spiral of death? No, I can't. And I'm back to no ammo again. Oh, got some ammo. I got all Mr. Zerk on, that's actually helpful.
negotiator rockets. They'll help take out those guys. Done it. Nice. That one's actually a bit challenging just because it was very slow to give me ammo. We've got another Zoni, so I think that gets us the next ship upgrade. Quick and the Dead. A group of Tyrannoids has been spreading rumors that you mocked the Agorians' underdeveloped legs. As a result, they've decided to take their revenge with the help of some thrashers. Defeat all 100 of them before the time runs out. Okay. I didn't mean to throw that out there, but it is what it is. You stop that. These... This weapon is ridiculously, ridiculously useful. Because it has really good, like, crowd control as well. Go back to the... It's a good negotiator, actually. Now Dynamo. I'll just walk inside the Dynamo to try and get some more ammo. Crap, I'm out of ammo. There we go. I wonder how difficult the next championship's going to be, because this one, there's been a few difficult bits, but it's not been too bad. That's going to be helpful, though, so now I'm not running around as much trying to get the bolts. Agorian Roulette, your competitors have challenged you to a game of Agorian Roulette. During the battle, a moderator from the Agorian Council for Equal Opportunity Dismemberment will teleport a random weapon into your hands every 20 seconds. Okay. So if I can just get as much of this stuff out... So now it's the bomb glove, that's fine. I wonder what they're gonna give me next. Hopefully it's like the negotiator or something. So I can like try and level it up. Oh come on game. Really? Of all weapons? Come on. It's the only like downfall of this weapon is the uh delay. Let's just throw a load of those out and now let's get the bigger one out. Done. Uh tomorrow I'm looking to I want to try and start a bit earlier. I wouldn't mind trying to start around six thirty seven tomorrow. That's what I'm aiming for. Um just so I can try and Go like maybe three, three and a half hours. That's what I'm aiming for anyway. Ooh, constructor shotgun. 
Bloodthirsty Wargrok with an elite Hydra tank. Okay, so we actually have to fight both of them this time. The War Rock, not so bad to fight. Ow, he got me. There he is. Hydra Tank, come on down. I should really have Mr. Zircon out for this. Yes, Robot Wars was amazing. I used to love Robot Wars as a kid. Ooh, Zircon leveled up. Nice. Yeah, Robot Wars was like one of my favorite shows. There's like Destructo Disc, Sir Kill a Lot, and things like that, wasn't there? Okay, so this Spire was actually pretty powerful. If only I could hit him on the way back as well. Oh, no, 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 no. I keep doing it straight away and I know I need to jump over the first one at least because it's dangerous. I'm really low health now as well. That's that. Let's get Zircon out. I think we're gonna have to use the uh, Groovatron on the uh, on the big on the um, the Hydra tank. But yeah, um, I used to love Robot Wars. With, what was it, Craig? Craig Charles was his name, I think it was. That was an amazing, amazing show. Groovatron. Guess the duration level up. Um, I think they tried to reboot it at one point, but it just didn't quite work out from what I remember. And done. Gold championship done. So we got a... What's this? The Constructor Shotgun. Pretty cool. Welcome to the Net Weapon Shop. I haven't watched any of that stuff, no. That's not been stuff that I've looked at. It's always a funny thing with reboots. Like, sometimes reboots can go really, really well. And then other times they can just be goddamn awful. Yeah, man, it's a proper shotgun in this one, like... It's an... Actual shotgun sound, rather than, like, the... Just the blaster sound in the previous ones. I'm wondering what, um... Mod you get for this one, because if we can make this, like, um... A super shoddy from Doom, we definitely are going to be doing that. 
Let's head back to the ship, though, because I think there was some um, upgrades. Which should be in here, actually. Yeah, we got the... The Zoni shield. And we got some armor next, which will be interesting. Well, if we're judging by the... Judging by the... Affiliate upgrades, we're just over halfway through the game then. Magic. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know what I've done. Uh, can I? I can't shimmy around. I mean. No, 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 no. <laughs> I think we're going to leave it there. We're going to just leave him floating there and we'll finish up. But yeah, so. Um, Got a decent chunk done today. Uh, did all of the championship one with the gladiators, which was good. Uh, unlocked a shit ton of stuff in that gladiator stuff, so we're going to be really helpful going through with like the box breaker and stuff. That's going to help out a lot going forward. I'm really enjoying this one so far. Um, I can understand where people have come from with the way the story is and how they've kind of spanner handed the the last lombaxes and spanner handed in the. Um, Oh, you are the chosen one robot kind of thing. Uh, but I, I'm actually really enjoying this one so far. Thomas, thank you very much for joining. Thank you very much for jumping in. Uh, I'll catch you tomorrow. Like I said, we're looking to start around 6.37, uh, but I'll post on my Twitter exactly when I'm going to get going. But for everyone else, uh, thanks for everyone that's come by and watched. Thanks for everyone that's been just lurking in the background. That's always nice. We did have a new follower. I want to give a quick shout-out to... Where is the new follower... Yep, we had a new follower of Spiderpork29 today, so thank you very much Spiderpork for dropping by and giving us a nice follow. If you have watched me here, go follow me on Twitter. I like to post there when I'm going to be going live and also stupid things about using laptops and cars and my dogs. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, you can also follow me on Twitter, but also come by the Twitch. It's nice to have people drop by, say hello, and we can get more people in the chat. It's always good having people in the chat because it brings good conversation and everyone's kind in this chat. Anyone who isn't kind gets kicked. It's simple as that. But thanks everyone for watching and we will see you guys tomorrow.